Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Senator Neil O'Donnell, you have 10 minutes. Carly, you was Ira Tafalcha, Road Minister. You're very welcome uh, for uh, the debate uh, here in the Senate. Um, I probably won't use uh, my 10 minutes, uh, Chair. I wasn't planning on speaking on this debate, but I just thought, given the, the very respectful, uh, tampered uh, nature of it, and also uh, I think which is reflective of what I, as an observer, uh, have witnessed uh, in the course of the vast majority of the work uh, carried out by the uh, Eighth Committee under uh, the stewardship uh, of uh, uh, Catherine, uh, Senator Catherine Noon as uh, Chair. And like others, I do want to pay particular uh, uh, tribute to you, uh, Senator Noon. Uh, I think you have led that committee uh, with a tremendous amount of uh, tenacity, but also a huge amount of grace, and above all else, I think it is fair to say patience, um, because uh, members have already alluded to uh, some of the very vile uh, nature of abuse that you have taken, uh, as have many of us, simply for being members of this Arrakis, um, uh, from uh, or, or via social media. But I do think it is important to point out, uh, for the purposes of the record, that you too had to face it, and you may not reflect this, but you too had to face it from members of this Arrakis, and I simply think that is not good enough. Um, so I just wanted to make that uh, for the, the, the purposes of the record, Chair. Um, I support a repeal uh, of the Eighth uh, Amendment, uh, Alas Cahirly, uh, and to be honest, Listening to this debate today and listening to the, the, the debate in wider society over the last uh, number of months and years, I only wish I had a vote in that referendum. But uh, I, I would assure colleagues and those observing from the outside that I use the very limited amount of clout I have in this institution to ensure that we have uh, that referendum, because I think it is past time uh, that the women of Ireland uh, had their say and that all of us had our say uh, in relation uh, to uh, this issue. I want to um, and uh, in here and outside who may be following the debate uh, that regardless of what happens with this uh, referendum, and I hope we win it, I hope we see a repeal uh, of the Eighth Amendment, um, we have women uh, in the north of our country who will continue to face these uh, exact same issues, these exact, these exact same dangers and risks uh, and uh, a pricing and suppressing uh, of their medical uh, and health needs. And I hope we get to the point sincerely where all across uh, the country uh, women do not have uh, to fear that kind of criminalisation and risk uh, to their health uh, and well-being, emotional, physical, psychological uh, or otherwise. Senator Crockwell uh, made a couple of uh, points during the course of his uh, contribution, uh, Alas Carly. And he's right, and, and, and this is something that I have conflicted with, as I'm sure probably all of my male colleagues will have done uh, in the course of this debate. He's right when he says we'll never be pregnant. That goes without uh, saying. But I think it's entirely because, as he rightly said, we have, have women in our lives who we love, who we admire, who we respect, who we cherish, that we should be vocal and we should be active on this issue as an issue of uh, health and an issue of rights. That's why I have come to the position that I have come to. It's precisely for that. So we should listen to the arguments both for uh, and against. That is our role as legislators. But ultimately, we need to make the decisions. And I would urge no one, and no one has advocated it, um, but I do think it is worth pointing out that none of us should be seeking uh, a cop-out or political cover uh, in relation to this issue. Yes, it is an issue that overwhelmingly impacts directly and permeates into the lives of Irish women. But it is a, an issue that all of us, if we believe uh, that the kind of subjugation of women that we have heard about during the course of this uh, debate was wrong and should be ended, if we believe in a society that treats people equal, treats them with dignity, treats them with respect, then it is uh, an issue that we all must be vocal on uh, and ensure an end to what is ultimately uh, an injustice inflicted uh, upon uh, women. So, like a lot of people, I probably I, I don't even really know why I had the position I had on this issue going back uh, a, a number of years. I probably just had it via osmosis from the society, the society and the media that we grew up in. Um, but that that view has come to change, and it has come to change similarly to what Senator Bottomer said on the basis of lived experience, on the basis of meeting people hearing people, uh, having an understanding and an appreciation uh, for the kind of negative permeation that this bad legislation had in the lives of women, which I think uh, Senator Devine very eloquently 
outlined during the course of her own uh, contribution. So it's because I'm a Republican, it's because I do value Marana Heron, it's because I have been given the honour to come in here as a legislator uh, that I believe that the Eighth Amendment is a bad piece of legislation. It was a bad piece of legislation when it was enacted, uh, and it is a bad piece of legislation now. We have the opportunity to end that. We have an opportunity and, I think, a responsibility, not just to the women of Ireland, but to the people who are mobilised and calling uh, for it uh, to uh, be repealed, uh, to give them the democratic franchise to bring that about. So, for what it's worth, I'll ask Cahirly, send my message. Thank you, Senator.